Can you get close to me so that we can have a really, really big kid talk real quick? What? Really big kid talk. So, Everly knows, Everly's only five, almost six, but she's really smart. And we have always been really open about everything. <laughs> Uh, that's right. We're about to go to like a bunch of different baby shops right now. Maybe just like one big one if we can knock it all out. But you are officially eight weeks out. Yeah. And because of this like, you I know, mean, uh, gestational yeah. diabetes. I'm eight weeks out. I'm two months out. And from having the baby, if you didn't know what we were talking because about. Because I have gestational diabetes and because I'm having a lot of brats and hicks, baby's probably going to come early rather than later. And I had it really early, so that's just another thing that makes it to where... The doctor says I'll probably have this baby early. And we're just going to be so busy. We're going to Florida to see my family for Thanksgiving. We're going to have Everly's birthday. Christmas is right around the corner. All my uh -huh. family's coming here for Christmas. So we're like, we got to go like prepare for like, if something happens and this baby just comes in the, in the middle of the night. Like we aren't prepared. We need to get a hospital and baby ready. It, because it, we're not that ready right now. I can't even believe that this baby's like... like if I went into labor tonight... <laughs> I grab her water we bottle. We so much trouble. <laughs> also, you guys, update on the baby room. We're gonna finish the baby room on Sunday. Wednesday. No, no, don't listen. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's talking about. On Wednesday. Wednesday. Anytime after that, be expecting a video. Yeah, I know we said October, but we got slowed down a little bit. We'll show you guys whenever we get home. Everything came in, but we need like a wallpaper guy and what drapery so guy. All, and... Yeah, all that stuff has to happen before we can start setting up. I'm excited about that. This is gonna be awesome. Okay, mm -hmm. let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it kind of smell like dirty diapers in here? <laughs> Nursing pads, like, can you explain? So, this is what this is why you need these. So when you're breastfeeding, at, at first you like produce a lot of milk. So it will just like fall out. Wait, so, you're gonna make milk? I'm gonna make milk. <laughs> <laughs> we literally have 400 binkies at the house. Let's just get one for now. I'm sure we're gonna need another one when she drops it and we lose it. All right, it looks like we're getting huh. everything. What the heck is a boppy? Oh, I see. Baby baths. No, leave that in there. I like that little flower Let's one. You just put the flower in the sink and the baby just sits in it. Everly, where are you? Everly, where are you? Oh, <laughs> I saw a little eyeball. <laughs> okay, what is that? <laughs> this is pretty funny. <laughs> That's knee pad, so when baby starts crying, they don't hurt their knees. But that just seems silly. <laughs> I need some of this for me. <laughs> That's scary. Butt pace. You got some diapers up? Can you hold it with one hand? Yeah. Can you go one hand above your head? No, with that hand. With, the, with that hand. No, no, you gotta, you gotta hold the diapers above your head with one hand. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? There's gonna be a lot of times where I'm like, babe, we're out of wipes, or babe, we're out of diapers, and you're gonna have to like run to the store and get them. Okay. So I want to make sure that you know which ones to get. Okay. I always use sensitive. Sensitive. Just because she was always really, really sensitive. She still is. Don't get the ones with fragrance. No fragrance. No fragrance. Got it. Well, Savannah shops, Everly and I just play. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Where could she be? There's so many places that she can maybe be. Huh. I have no idea. Um, have you guys seen my daughter? No. no? Oh, oh, there she is. Hello. How's it going, babe? Good. Good. You got a lot of stuff up in here. I forgot. Remember, I was making fun of these the other time that we were here. Yeah, but I actually heard that these were pretty good. Huh? Like, you can try it. See if you like it. Might be good for the baby. Think, I don't think. I'm gonna go play. I'm gonna go hide with the camera, Dad. Okay. Count. Okay, one, two. Close your eyes! Okay, guys, so right now I'm hiding. I have to be really quiet. Quiet. Oh, Everly, where are you? That's pretty good. Oh, I can't wait for this just to be going on nonstop. Oh yeah! You guys give this video a thumbs up right now if you had one of these poppers and agree that they're the worst toy ever. I completely agree. <laughs>
<laughs> I feel like we should definitely get this book for the baby though, right? <laughs> At the checkout, we're gonna have a dance contest. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like I talk it. That huh? contest was good. Yeah, it was that dance contest. It was good. I just made a quick Best Buy stop because I got some extra batteries and a big old SD card to be prepared to film if this baby comes ASAP. So, gonna try and make sure that we get that birth vlog for y'all. All right guys, so we got home and uh, everything was kind of in a weird, bad mood. So we sent her to her room. Um, she's been there for a little bit, but she's an awesome kid, not a perfect kid, but really good kid, but we did have to get her in trouble. She fell asleep. Everything gets cranky when she's tired. So she might just need a nap. Hey girl. Hey Ebony. You a little tired? Do you feel better now? She was sleeping. Okay guys, so uh, we've been wanting to have this conversation with Everly for a while now and we've kind of like little by little like said things here and there. Um, but we want to have like a really big girl conversation with her right now because we feel that she's old enough and that she's smart enough and that she deserves to have this. And um, our situation is a little unique so I feel it's really important and um, we just wanted to let Everly know a couple things. It's not like a really big deal but we did want to have a really big You're girl conversation with you. You're in trouble. <laughs> you fell asleep! <laughs> the baby, your baby sister is eight weeks away from coming here. Which is gonna come so fast. And life is gonna change. Like, mm -hmm. for all of us. For me and your mommy, but you too. Because you've been your mommy's only baby for six years now, almost. Since you're almost six, that you won't really get jealous. I know there's sometimes that you might get a little bit jealous, but I know that you're just gonna be so in love with the baby that you're gonna be mommy's biggest helper, right? Mm -hmm. But even if sometimes if you get a little bit jealous, you know that it's always okay to like come talk to us about it, right? Mm -hmm. And if I'm ever feeling like you're giving the baby too much attention, I'm gonna be like, hey, Everly, do you think that, that me and you can maybe have like a little date soon? Because I feel, you know, we hung out a lot and now like all you care about is this baby. She's laughing. <laughs> We're gonna love you just as much as we love this baby, mm -hmm. but we are gonna love this baby just as much as we love you, which might be weird for you. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. she, she, you're our baby and, and she's our baby. Babies, you know? yeah. I might get a little cuckoo just because, you know, new babies make you kind of crazy sometimes. <laughs> so if I ever get like that, just know it's not because I don't love you anymore. It's not because I love the baby more. It's nothing like that. It's literally just because I'm very tired and baby takes all of my sleep away from me. And you just need to kind of understand. After a while, you're going to get so used to it. You're just going to, you're going to love that baby so much. You're just going to play with the baby all the time. and You're not going to even care. Hey, and, and, you know? and you, can you get close to me so that we can have a really, really big kid talk real quick? What? Really big kid talk. So, Everly knows, Everly's only five, almost six, but she's really smart. And we have always been really open about everything. You know that mm -hmm. I wasn't there when you were a baby, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't come into your life until you were three. But I don't want you ever worrying that because I'm there when this baby's a baby and I wasn't there when you were a baby that I love this baby anymore. I think you're my baby, even though you're a big old kid, you know that, right? Mm -hmm. And I love you just as much, and I always will, okay? We don't have like these talks that often, but mm -mm. you feel good? Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to you, you get out of here? Are you done with this talk? Yeah. All right. We love you. Love you. You're a sweet kid. <laughs> <laughs> she gets so awkward on her kids' arms. <laughs> Are you okay? You okay, Yev? I think that I think that this conversation was a really big big conversation for you. But I think that when this baby comes, you're gonna love this baby so much you're not even gonna care about and this I think conversation. That you're gonna give the baby so much attention. Yeah. I think you're gonna give the baby more attention than we even give the baby. Everything's gonna be the same, but we're gonna have a baby. So yeah, it's gonna be a little different, but me and your mommy are still gonna want our date nights away mm -hmm. from all kids. You're still gonna have date nights with me and date nights with your mommy, and then we're gonna have family nights. And then I'm gonna have some time with just baby P. Your mom's gonna have time with just baby P. But most of the time, we're all gonna be together. If any of you were a were an only child for like five or six years, and then a new baby came in, let us know how you guys dealt with it, and if it was hard or if it was easy. And we'll read Everly some of your guys' comments just to, you know, get her ready for the baby to come because I think it's totally normal for 
any only child or even any kid that when their mom gets has a new baby, it's totally normal for them to get a little bit jealous at times, you know? She, she's being a little emotional right now, but... And she, I don't really want to use the word jealous because I don't like that word, but just like overwhelmed by all the new things that are happening. When the baby gets here, she's going to be so happy. Yeah. All right, Abby, you want to do the shout outs with me? Yeah. So, do you know what to say? We give shout outs to people. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us right down here. <laughs> and this video shout outs go to Aubrey. Same to me. Oh, sorry. You can do the next one. Addison. Dane Burke. <laughs> so if you want to be next video, shout out falls all down here. Also, turn on our post notifications so you don't miss a video because we have some fun, exciting videos coming up. Yeah, and I think YouTube, I, I saw a lot of things, a lot of YouTubers have been posting that like, YouTube's changing algorithm stuff. If like you don't have our post notifications on, you might miss our videos and it might not show up on your feed. So if you do enjoy our videos and like you don't want to miss the birth vlog and all that kind of stuff, make sure you turn on post notifications uh, right now so you don't miss anything. And we'll catch you on next vlog. Peace out.